And having family working for the NHS, I know how hard you're working. So uh, thank you and God bless. Uh, right, Ramsey and Tim, I'm gonna make the most amazing curry. My favorite curry is the butter chicken, but this is a curry with a, a twist because it's sort of, um, it's great for the kids and it's got butternut squash. If you can't get butternut squash in there, trust me, we can use uh, courgettes or zucchini, as we say in the US. It's simple, it's delicious, and then <laughs> we love it to us. We're not in the US, they don't yeah. say zucchini. No, but just think, Matilda, uh, pass me the phone. <laughs> no. Head off, head off direction today. It's only <laughs> the TikTok sensation. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> <laughs> Smile. Why are you going so I'm close? so glad those braces have gone. <laughs> Aren't you? That was right. like five years ago. I'm joking, ago. it was five years ago. <laughs> right, so where, <laughs> where's my sous chef? Where is he? Where is he? There he is! Hello! Zoom zoom! Blink! Oh. And Mum? Hello. <laughs> and Peanut? She's cold, she's been swimming. Peanut, you stink. Poo. Carlos? <laughs> Poo! Poo! Right, okay, here we go. Curry in a hurry. Uh, it's delicious. Um, more importantly, I'm using a very simple layout of ingredients. Right. Are you sure the braces aren't in there still? <laughs> Do you want me to film this or not? <laughs> yes, please. That's Ooh. what I thought. <laughs> Savage. Right, are we ready? Start the clock, please. Thank you. 10 minutes. Start the clock. <laughs> Yes, right, first I'm off, going. pans on. I'm using a non-stick pan again. Um, told you, I bought this about four weeks ago uh, from Tesco's. I think it was about 8 99 Tifa, incredible. That's when a little surprise at the end. I'm going to do something sort of uh, pretty majestic. It goes perfectly well with curry. You don't need me to show you how to cook rice, okay? So that, you know. What's happened in the last two months? You guys have turned into a nation of foodies. This is how we do a quick curry. Uh, Midweek, especially when the kids are here, they're everywhere. Pan on. Let's pan down, please, Tilly. To what? But to the ingredients. I've just done <laughs> that. that. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> ingredients, right? I've just onion. panned down. <laughs> Can you do your talk, please, madam? I'm down. What would you like me to do now? Red onion, butter squash is peeled, a uh, small knob of ginger, a beautiful uh, fresh chili. Uh, chicken, I'm using breasts here. Okay, there's two breasts. This chicken uh, dish is enough for six, but thighs are brilliant. If you want to use the drums, just keep the drums whole, but I've taken the bone out. Uh, of the top of the breast. After that, we've got some uh, fresh frozen peas, coconut milk, uh, chopped canned tomatoes, a little bit of chicken stock, curry powder, and a little touch of olive oil. First off, um, forget the chopping for a moment, okay? I know you can all chop, but um, box grater, take the top of the butternut squash and just grate it, okay? Now, as you start grating, open up your hand. I need extra two minutes, by the way, because that was the introduction, so. Yeah, can't... I was gonna say, two minutes are already gone. Yeah, but you can't, you can't. Should we start that. again? <laughs> yes, please. Stop. You're tough tonight, Till. Start again, please. Okay, thank you. Now, open up your hand. Oscar's hungry. Okay, from there, literally, great. Now, a lot of you would never think about putting a pumpkin inside a curry, but honestly, for my beloved vegetarians out there, a pumpkin curry on its own, done the same way with vegetable stock, is just as delicious. Now look, from there. Watch your fingers. Yeah, we get down to the end, just relax. Relax, <laughs> kid. From there, ah. look, and then just there. This is where it goes slowly now, okay? I'll leave that little bit on the end. Right, from there, look, great. Just tap it very quickly. Okay, now, butternut squash has a lot of water, okay? Get the pan nice and hot. And first off, we're gonna start cooking that. A little drizzle, turn up the gas, drizzle. Of oil. That's not a little. <laughs> you are on one today. <laughs> now, use the pan and spread the butternut squash throughout, okay? It's amazing when you start grating these vegetables, the sort of, the yield, okay? It gets very, very, very sort of, you know, cost effective. From there, whack that gas up. A touch of salt. Carlos, please. From there, lightly seasoned. Get your curry powder. Okay, now, please. now you can use a beautiful gam masala. This is just a beautiful curry powder, fragrant, and just lightly sprinkle that over the butternut squash. Two and a half teaspoons. Now, gam masala, beautiful, fragrant, delicious. Get that work in there now, okay? 
Use the pan on the outside and start cooking all that beautiful butternut squash. Now for the onion. Again, hold it, almost like a cricket ball, in, and just let you start grating again. And this sort of makes it a lot easier. I'll tell you why. As it starts to cook, it sort of pretty much disintegrates. And more importantly, I use the red onion because of the sort of sweetness. They're less bitter than a white onion. And honestly, it's a sort of very mild flavor. Two now, minutes gone. Two minutes gone. I know it's Corey in a hurry, but Tilly, <laughs> you don't have to push me. Okay, that's not your job, kid. I've never seen an onion grated before. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, from there, lift that up, tap. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then get that onion in there. Now, beautiful. From there, start mixing that up. I've got a little bit of color on that beautiful coconut squash. Now, you can see why we only need a touch of oil in there. And that butternut squash grated gives a really nice sort of rich texture to the curry. It's pretty incredible. Okay, again, just a touch of seasoning on top of the onions. And now, get the chili, okay? I'm gonna keep the seeds in. Again, roll it nice and flat. It'll be keep spicy. It's not spicy. If you keep it. the seeds in, yes. it'll be spicy. But, honestly, as the curry sort of cooks, you need that little bit of heat in there, okay? Fresh chili. Now, the ginger. Okay, get that literally sort of almost sweating off. Again, get the back of the spoon and spread it across the pan. This way it cooks so much quicker, okay? And look, we've only chopped the chili, look what's inside the pan. Get a little microplane, get the knob of ginger and grate that, okay? Again, hold it nice and firm, don't rush. But what happens now is that this sort of ginger disintegrates beautifully and it gets really nice and pureed. Pan down, please, pan down, pan down. See, oh my look at that. With all that beautiful juice, okay? And again, ginger is very vibrous, okay? Incredibly fibrous, it's very, very hard to sort of, you know, find ice. And then when you start dicing it on top of the board, the board's wet and all the flavor of the ginger has gone into the board. So I want the flavor of the ginger in the curry. So we grate it. Four okay. minutes gone, you're yeah, nearly okay, halfway. Okay. Relax, relax, relax. Don't tell me to relax, you're making curry in a hurry. <laughs> From there, tap, tap, tap. Get your knife in there and just literally grate all that down. Now, beautiful. Now, come down, please. Oh, it's just down. Oh no, come back down, please, now, look at that. The smell of that is incredible. Like I said, I'm using curry powder. The nice thing about this dish, Make your own spice mix. Make your own garam masala. Beautiful. Sweating it off like that, it's almost like a paste in there, okay? And the good news is, we've taken out the water. Okay, now, create a little sort of hole in the center. From there, just a teaspoon of oil, oil in again. And then get your chicken, okay? Now, chicken in, okay? Halfway. This is a breast of chicken, so they will cook so quickly. Depending on the time, right? Pop them smaller or bigger. You want to do it in 20 minutes? A bit chunky. I like them in a little sort of dice. Pan down, please, pan down. I was just down. Now, that pumpkin takes on that aroma, the aromats. The chicken is sitting in now. Okay. Again, look. This is one of the most easiest, delicious curries you'll ever do. And more importantly, as it sits in the fridge, what you don't use, I'll see the next day, it's incredible. Now, look at that. Is it gonna be as good as mum's curry? Uh, Matilda, yes. this is a, a curry in a hurry. Now, mum's is slow cooked and delicious. As that's cooking, okay, peas in, okay? Peas go in. That's gonna give a little bit of sort of texture and freshness to this curry. Yeah. Now, look at that. Spinach, okay, baby spinach is gonna go at the very, very end. Right. Fragrant and delicious. Now. Six minutes gone. Relax, Tilly, please. I don't need to relax. If you're doing this vegetarian style, then obviously no chicken, no stock, except vegetable stock. Lots of pumpkin, butternut squash, zucchini, and lots of spinach. It is so good. Now, look at that, look. Pan down, please, pan down, oh. Tilly. The chicken is saved in there. Okay. Now, for some richness. 
chopped tomatoes go in, turn up the gas, okay, now, after that give them a little stir, you can see it starting to come together, from there the coconut milk, and that gives it a sort of sweetness, also it gives a little added richness, it's a really nice, a re oh, <laughs> You're, not You're to so down. messy. You're not supposed to pan down to that. Now fold that in, okay? Bring that up to the boil. Careful. And this is where you start to think, well, do I need a touch more stock? Again, just a couple of tablespoons of stock. If you haven't got stock, obviously water is fine. Bring that up to the boil and simmer gently. Now, let that simmer, and we'll taste it and correct the seasoning. Now, what's the perfect accompaniment, okay, with a curry? Rice. No, rotty bread, okay? This is so simple, let me tell you. Rice, clearly, yes, of course. But, bread. When I say rotty bread, this is so simple, okay? I've got 120 grams of flour, okay? A little pinch of salt, okay? A small glug of olive oil, and about 120 grams of water. This is such a lovely accompaniment. Start rolling the water around, fold that in, okay? And all we'll do now is get to sort of a nice soft dough texture. Hand out the curry, please. Look at those flavours. Thank you. Dad, you've got two minutes I know, I know, I know. left. Relax. This is ambitious today. Relax, relax, relax. Now, Are you going to do it? Listen, it's a curry in a hurry. It was a delicious one. Can you just pan down to the bread, please? You just told me to pan down to the curry. I know, no, but then swap over. Now, look. Okay. Bring that back, okay? And all you're going to do is shape that into a little dough. If you let that rest, okay, for about 15 minutes, okay, what happens now? It starts to relax. And from there, it sort of forms this beautiful, light bread dough. The rock salt gives it the most incredible flavor, okay? But look, a beautiful ball. Let that sit and relax. Obviously, I made one earlier. I've cut it into four, okay? And look, from there, I've got these beautiful little balls. Pan down, please. <laughs> and across to the curry. Look at that flavor. Anything there, else? Yes, yeah, busy, busy. Now, quit the seasoning first as that cooks. But look at the texture. Mm. Well, texture of salt, that is delicious. I'm not just saying that because you can't taste it. I really do that. I promise you. From there, okay, when you're cooking, always clean down the side of the pan. Look, pan down, please. Pan down, please. Dad, I hate to say it, but you've got 30 seconds left. I know, I know, but wait, 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 look. look We're going to allow you extra for your, look, your bread. In two minutes' time, that chicken's going to be cooked. I need two more minutes, please. So, okay. Granted. So it's Ramsey and 12 today. <laughs> <laughs> Ramsey and 12 every week. <laughs> Apart from last week, but you're making That's pasta, so. Light and flour your hands. Okay. Lightly. Light. Hot pan on, okay? Nothing in there, okay? Get the rolling thing, okay? And then look, with the bread. Just literally roll these out, okay? Now, I quite like them sort of thin, okay? And the more you let this relax, okay, the better they become. Turn it over, fold it, and roll, okay? If you get it nice and thin, then it gets really nice and toasty on the outside, okay? Look at that. Now, off, 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 okay? Now, look at that. Beautiful. Oh. Fold it over like that, and then go on to the next one, okay? Touch of flour. Oh. I know, time tells I know, but look. It's okay, we're allowing watch. you extra. Two more minutes, please. Look, pan down, please. And see, once you let this dough relax, it's so easy to roll, and it makes the most amazing bread for the curry. But, I've got a little trick coming up, okay? Once it's nice and thin like that, okay? Roll it back onto the roller, Okay, lightly salt the pan, okay, a splash of oil in there, okay, and watch, take that, get it nice and thin, <laughs> and look, into the pan she goes, okay, Yum. back at the gas, add some full, and look, watch that roast. Now, bang back up to here please, the spinach, the spinach has been rinsed, okay, Lay that spinach over, okay? And then get a spoon and start folding that in. Look, watch what happens. The spinach almost sort of disintegrates, but gives it a really nice brightness to the curry. And 
two tablespoons of pipe powder, a fresh chili, but look at that. And literally in nine minutes, you can see that chicken is already cooked. If I was using the most amazing thigh, I'd let it cook a little bit longer. But spinach takes seconds to cook, but look at that inside. Now you can put chickpeas in there. I've got fresh peas and spinach. Hand down the bread, please. Sure thing. Now look at that, over to the end and push away and flip. Ooh. Push away and flip. Oh. And then bang, back down. Now, that fresh bread there is beautifully crisp. I mean, really crisp. The chicken, look at the textures of that, honestly. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. Now, just the smell of it, let that simmer. When I get hold of that bread, this bread literally takes 90 seconds each side, okay? Now, fresh coriander. And then look, a beautiful spoon of curry on. I want to sort of build up the excitement with that. It's nice and thick and by literally, okay, grating that butternut squash, look at the texture. And then from there, get your bread straight out of the pan and literally on there, 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 there. And there you have the most amazing curry in a hurry. <laughs> Maybe not 10 minutes, but it is 11 minutes and 58 seconds. A delicious curry. Now, please enjoy. I know it's a little bit hot out there today, but making this for the weekend, honestly, is incredible. So I've got some exciting news to tell you that I've been bursting for the last four months to explain. Studio Ramsey and Channel 4 have teamed up to make the most amazing crafting show. And guess what? It starts tomorrow night at 8 p.m. on Channel 4. And it's called The Fantastical Factory of Curious Craft, hosted by the incredible Keith Lemon and Anna Richardson. You're gonna be shocked of what they've done and the contestants, and more importantly, what lies in your attics, cupboards, and how they've made these majestic crafts into something spectacular. It is just incredible. Enjoy, 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Um, a big happy Mother's Day to all those amazing mums across the US. And then on Tuesday next week, um, this has been a, a really heartfelt documentary that I was fortunate enough to film recently. And it's a 24 hours to Hell and Back special, Save Our City. And we had an amazing team and we went to this incredible city that was devastated uh, due to awful floods and actually put the town back together. Nate Burkus helped me design the sort of high street, but it's just an incredible, amazing story of a fantastic city and the strength has been incredible that's next tuesday on fox 8 pm enjoy your weekends uh stay safe we can't wait to get out of this lockdown god bless lots of love